Hey, there was more, right? I mean, like that time... Uh, anyone? I think... Yes? I think that we should stop. Maybe... for now. Yep. I think we should. Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD Remastered. Last time we arrived at the ruins of Xanarkand. This part, let's go. Let's go through them. So, we're at the end of the pilgrimage already, ladies and gentlemen, which means we're close to the end of the game. The final Aeon is close at hand, and what's playing in the background now is Someday the Dream Will End, one of my all-time favorite Final Fantasy tracks, to be certain. So, need to make sure, first things first, that everything's all set. Make sure that we have our peaceful shield on, because I don't want to get into any random battles, although there are still some new enemies that are here, but these are some of the last new enemies. I don't show these off because of time constraints, because otherwise we'd be inside Xanarkin for more parts than I'd like to be. But, interesting thing to note is that the music for this place actually carries over into the battle theme of Xanarkin. So someday the dream will end plays while you're going into battle too. Looks like the far plane. Close enough. Well, that explains why Xanarkin was never rebuilt, like I was saying it probably could be. Because, unfortunately, this place is filled with very powerful fiends. The same can be said about the inside of the dome where we're going to. In fact, it is very good to build up levels while you are here because most of the enemies will give you quite a bit of AP, especially inside the dome, because inside the dome, we have those mechs that we fought on the high bridge back in Vivel, only they have gone to a color palette swap, which means they're more powerful. Those give you 12,000 AP. That's a lot. But here we are. So we have another save sphere right here, and someday the dream will end stops, unfortunately. Journeyer of the long road, name yourself. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the island of Besaid. Your eyes, my dear, show me the long road you have traveled. Very good. You have journeyed well. Lady Unaleska will surely welcome your arrival. Go to her now, and bring your guardians with you. Go. Yes. Alright, so he's a zombie. That's another thing we're going to have to deal with inside this place. Zombie and zombie status. There are fallen monks that are on the inside of the dome right here. That pretty much will end up causing zombie status if you're not careful. might benefit the future of Spira, I will gladly give my life. It is the highest honor for which a guardian might ask. Use my life, Lady Yoken, and rid Spira of sin. What? What was that? Our predecessors. She said Lady Yoken, didn't she? Wait, she guarded High Summoner Yoken? What's with the camera? This room is filled with fireflies. It's like one gigantic sphere. People's thoughts remain here forever. Well, that's creepy. Kind of makes me question things in X2 a little bit, but I won't go into spoilers on that. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be loading up another file, ladies and gentlemen. This next file will be pretty much one of the last files I upload for the project because it will have a boatload of grinding done and will get Riku to actually be extremely powerful 
but we're still going to be using Yuna instead for the upcoming bosses. So, we're going to load it right here. There we go. So, everything is done. We've trained up, fought quite a few enemies to say the least. And, just to show off, I have the soul shield on, which means zombie proof. Yes, there's actually a backstory about this. See, Lord Jiskel sent Seymour and his mother to live at Xanarkand. And that's where Seymour's mother became a faith. A faith of what, you may ask? Well, remember his Aeon Anima? Yes. So, that's what ended up happening. And let's just say Seymour was left alone with the Grendel here. For those who have read Beowulf, you know what the fuck the Grendel is. Uh. Hey, Braska, you don't have to do this. Thank you for your concern. Fine, I said my piece. Well, I haven't. Lord Braska, let us go back. I don't want to see you die. You knew this was to happen, my friend. Yes, but I... I cannot accept it. Oren, I am honored that you care for me so, but I have come to kill grief itself. I will defeat sin and lift the veil of sorrow covering Spira. Please understand, Oren. Seems Oren was right when he ended up saying that he started to doubt himself more and more the closer he got. But the Cloister of Trials awaits. Yep, there's a Cloister of Trials here, but we cannot get the... What is it called? The Destruction Sphere on this run. We'll have to come back to Xanarkin for that. But we still need to do the Cloister of Trials normally. Are the Trials ahead? Probably. Here too, huh? Give me a break. I was expecting, you know, parades and fireworks. You can ask for them after I defeat Sin. Alright, so, save here if you need to, and let's go in to the last Cloister of Trials of the game. Thank goodness. So what is this Cloister of Trials, you may be wondering? Why, it's a rousing game of Simon. Hit the corresponding blocks correctly and build a path, and you will be set. That's how this works. Just look at the ground for what it is that you need to do. Avoid these squares and hit everything else. All right, and one more should be around here somewhere. Where is it? I think this is it. And there we go. That's the first part. A fun, rousing game of Simon. But now we get into the more complicated part of the Cloister of Trials. More Simon! I hope you're excited for Simon, ladies and gentlemen, because pretty much the rest of this part is tackling this cloister of trials. Now you notice right there that there were a bunch of white cubes that showed up. That's actually for the sphere of destruction, but we actually can't get the sphere of destruction on this run as I said earlier because you need to take care of plot stuff first. Then you can come back after the events of Xanarkand and do that. So what happens if you hit the wrong thing? Well, every single one of the lights that you've activated will disappear. 
Ain't that annoying. Believe me, it gets very annoying when you're going after the Sphere of Destruction because you have to go after specific white cubes. All right, so this one looks like it's another one. This one's right here. And we should only need one more, and then this part of the trials is done. I think it's right... Yeah. There we go. So, that's one. We need to do this another five more times. Or really another four more times. No, another uh, three more times actually because two of them are just sphere based. As you saw right there, it's at a sphere shaped recesses right there. And what you do for that is you have to get the spheres from there. So those are gonna be the last ones we do. But time for more Simon. All right, that's one. Two, three. This is honestly not as bad as Bavel's Cloister of Trials, which was just boring. And great, I hit it. That's what I was meaning to hit. Nope, hit that. Hit this one. Go over this way and hit this one. All right. Now let's try and find some more. So we need a top one, which there's one right here. Uh, no, not there, not there, not that one. Hmm, where are they? Well, one of them is right down here. So, hit this one. Here is the line. The mighty line piece. So, with that, that makes number two. Oh, hey, I got the adjacent ones. How appropriate. Pretty much the symbols are the symbols of the aeons in Yevon's alphabet. So, let us push this one in. This is the Kilika one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lights. Okay. It's a good thing I don't have to do this in order or anything, otherwise that'd be terrible. You can do these in any order you want, and as long as you don't hit the wrong light, then you should be fine. All right, so, no, no, yes, that one. This one. This one. And this one. That should be all of them. Wait, no, that's not the Kilika one. That one's the Besaid one, I think. It's hard to, It's hard for me to, to tell because the Yevon alphabet is a pain in the butt to decipher. But push this one in. The last two are going to be sphere-based, so this is the last one we have to do puzzles for. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine lights. Of course. Alright, so. Let's do that. This. This one. Alright, let's not hit the white square. Because that will get rid of everything. This one right here. This. Oh, dang it, I hit the white square by accident. I was doing so well, too, at avoiding that. All right. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, one more, nine.
There we go. So only two left, and they are based off of the spheres that are for the computer. So this one right here controls the lights. And how appropriate, it's the Kilika Sphere. So take the Kilika Sphere to where it needs to go, which I believe is this one. I don't think it fully matters which one it goes in, but you just have to put it inside one. That makes five. So one left and it's the one that's based on the computer so take this and let's put this where it needs to go get ready ladies and gentlemen because there is a boss that is coming yeah you didn't think that this would just be an easy cloister of trials did you no you gotta put a boss in And a save sphere shows up because it's boss time. Boss time against something really ugly that has Seymour's style of hair. For once, actually, having Guardians in a Cloister of Trials makes sense. Meet the annoying, and I mean annoying, enemy that this is. And by that, I mean I don't remember his name because I am terrible with names. What is his name? So, what we can do is we can move. I recommend moving because he will do uh, sweeping attacks that can hurt. All right, slots, attack reels. Mm, let's attack the spectral keep, keeper. Okay, I actually had his name right. I didn't think that his name was the spectral keeper. So, with our piercing might and our fully upgraded overdrive, what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is I trained a lot. And the spectral keeper will go down quite easily. Now this thing can cause Berserk, which is fairly annoying and does 2,000 damage when he attacks. So you can see why I moved Yuna. So let's use Holy. That did quite a bit of damage. And it counterattacks whenever it is attacked. So you can see that this thing is fairly annoying. So let us use a Mega Potion, Waka can survive another one, but Titus can't, that's for sure. This thing can use what is known as Glyph Mine, which is an instant kill move. So do not let it get it off at all. That is an instant kill move, and this is gonna kill the Spectral Keeper. So yeah, kind of overpowered Titus. And for getting an overkill on this thing, we're actually going to get some level four key spheres, two of them to be precise. And there we go. That little platform in the background is for Aeons. It can use Glyph Mine on Aeons and instantly kill them, so don't use Aeons in this fight. Yuna, we're here. The Hall of the Final Summoning. Go. Yes. And quite a bit of AP and two level four key spheres. Huh? What do you mean no final Aeon? What? Everyone, 